Hello and welcome to Watches TV and today we will present yet another facet of watchmaking with a Swiss company specialized in developing stands and store windows which actually plays a pretty vital part in the business. I mean it's the last step between the buyer and the watch. So let's go. So welcome in the showroom. So this is all the prototype we kept since 15 years. So it's a lot. And uh, of course the Raptor is the first thing we did. This is the first one, so it, it was for Hublot. The second one and the last one. And just listen the sound, the difference. And this okay. is more or less 10 years of development and, and technology. What I remember about the story of the Raptor, I just met Mr. Beaver uh, 15 years ago and he asked me for something incredible. And I said, just take the glass cube out and we we will try to find something to uh, protect the product. But I had no idea about what. And he said, okay, just do that. And for me, it was an incredible challenge because I never thought about, about what to do, but we did it. And after that, what is important, for example, is the iTag display or Hublot or many displays with the iPad. And what is interesting is the iPad is like a remote control and you can turn try the product, make some experiences, and this is something really modern. It's a modern way to present traditional watchmaking, uh, industry watch watches with a modern remote control. And for the young people, for the young generation, it's really important to have something really modern to discover something really traditional. So most of the time they want to discover the product immediately and try it. And here, which A, which B, choose yours. So Liberate, you want to try it? Let's try it. Okay. Very easy. And for the young generation, they just want to try immediately. Yeah, They don't want to, to spend one hour in a boutique and discover all the product. Just try it and then they can discover the rest. I'm, a, I'm very proud about this one because it's, it's not a display case. It's, it's like a sculpture from, uh, it's a mix between the Jun Peck, it's a Korean artist. Uh, he, he did a lot of sculpture with old television next to each other. And Jean Tangli with mechanical art. And we mix it to have really a show with a sound. And it was on the Hublot booth uh, just to play with the product, just to make, to create emotions. And uh, it was really fun to, to be, I stayed, so long time on the Hublot booth and you saw 100 people, they are waiting on the show. And, and this is really interesting to play with the frustration. Yeah. So the people, they have to wait to discover something. And this is totally the opposite uh, as the, the luxury uh, work because in the luxury normally everything is here directly. Yeah. You don't have to wait, yeah. never. This one is incredible because you can play with the product in live. You have focus, you can choose everything you want here. Just try it, video, direct link here, back. And if you want to try the product, fingerprint and try it. On the Bulgari booth at Basel World, uh, Bulgari decided to, to try all the product to all the people. No problem. And it was something incredible because uh, all the people, they share the watch, they discuss about it, uh, about the weight, how, how is the feeling. And I think it's watchmaking. It's something uh, uh, about participation, share uh, the experience. And uh, all the people, they tried the product in the booth and it was incredible to see that. Year 2010, so it's something about poetry. So the product is in levitation. And I remember three days before uh, Basel World opening, uh, friends came here and uh, asked me how, how can you do that and I said I don't ask me why I said it's a very dangerous gas don't <laughs> touch it and, and just before the opening of Basel World I put a panel dangerous gas with a nuclear sign and the security came the, la the just before the opening and, and asked me to dismantle all the, the, the system because in the public uh, place, you cannot do that. They, they were so serious, so I had to dismantle everything, open the box and smell it to say it's a joke. <laughs> this is 
is more or less the, the first hologram in history, so the product is not real. Uh, and the guy did it uh, more than one century. Uh, it's incredible, year 1908, so long, long time ago, more than a century, and it's incredible because we, we didn't invent anything. Everything is done. And we, we, what we do is reinterpretation, just a game about two mirrors, convex mirror, and you have the real product in, inside with the reflection. So this, this is an interesting one because my, my son did it. I just asked to my son, 12 years old, Louis, to invent a showcase. And he loves a magical tour. And he, he said, okay, what I want is a real watch, just press a button and the watch disappear. And you have the same stem without the watch. I don't want to, to, to you have to keep the secret. <laughs> no product and product appears. It's just about magical tour. So, so magical tour means something very old. The Houdini of watchmaking. <laughs> It's the submarine system, so the system opens and closes. Everything is secure. When you put your finger, system stops automatically. Okay. And this is, this is one more complication. When you invent an incredible showcase, you have to think about security problems. What you hear, it's, uh, there is no microphone. The, the, it's only the vibration inside the watch. And this is, you can feel it, no microphone. And I, I take all the vibration inside the watch. And this is a soundboard from uh, Forest Le Rizou. And you can see, what you hear, it's all the pieces inside the watch moving very slowly. And I remember I presented the, this showcase to Mr. Ayek, senior, so 80 years old. He tried all the watches and suddenly, with the double tourbillon, he, he put it on the, on the knee just to listen one minute. It's a long, long time, and I was here next to him, and he turned to me to say, C'est incroyable, c'est extraordinaire. <laughs> and uh, I remember that very well. Something very basic, so just move a magnifying glass with your finger and the iPad is an incredible thing to do that. And here it's another example, Just I just want to scan the watch, x-rays, and the system go down uh, to make the, the scan and the movement appears. This is a real hologram, so the, the screen moves 40 times per second up and down and your eyes cannot refresh uh, the video because it's too fast. Uh, and you have pixel during all the way and you can, your eyes can do the dragon, all images in 3D. And this is really real 3D. And after you have a joystick and you can turn it 360 degree in the six axles, everything what you want everything you want and this is really development phase yeah so this is the first one and uh, of course resolution is not the best one color is monochrome uh, but in two years everything can be different we never know magic box is something really i love this one especially because you can open and close a box just with your hand with your phone or with an ipad and uh, the goal is to play with the frustration. You have to do something on the iPad, three questions to open the box. If, you, if it's not okay, box close. And just imagine 10 boxes in a shop. When you come in, all the box open at the same time. Just magic. We are, we are talking about emotion, this is emotion. Okay, different report, but we like to show different things here on the Watches TV. All the best, thanks for watching, and a big Viva Watchmaking to you.